Rusky's Crypto Cave here, and today we're going to talk about the aftermath of the Zealous Fork and what has happened and changed as far as rewards. And did they go up? Did they go down? They about the same. And then what the scenario is. And a few other different things um, I need to talk about too. One zero miner did a recent update. I think it's 1.3.6 or something like that. Uh, let's hop in here. Um, it is more efficient. You get better hash rate. Yeah, 1.3.6. And then so I did switch from Rigel miner to uh, one zero miner. Um, MMPOS had it right away uh, once the update came out, so it was pretty easy to change some flight seats around. Uh, so that's all I did is I made a new profile with one zero miner. It says Viper Pool. I screwed up the name when I created the pool. It's actually K1 Pool is where I'm mining to. Um, so we are doing that. Hive OS, um, just yesterday, I believe it was, or no, the 12th. So that was, I guess, Friday. Um, one zero miner was recently done. So we're going to do uh, an upgrade. But right now we're at 8.4.88 kilohash at about 50 watts or so. So just to get an idea is where the 1660 TIs are at. And then let's go over to the 3070 TIs. It's the only other rig here in Hive OS. These are about 20.8, 21, 80 to 88 watts or so. So let's give this an update as well. And then we'll swap over uh, the miner and see how that does as far as hash rates because uh, actually i don't have yeah i took the overclocks out of here so i'm gonna have to go do some changes and stuff like that and put the overclocks back into uh the dashboard of hive os instead of being in the minor um so i will get at that right away because currently the 1660 or the 3070 ti's are running uh lock core clock of 14 no that's actually that's what it was before the fork Locked core clock of 1110, locked memory clock of 5001, and a memory offset of 1000. So that is the 3070 TIs. 30, 1660s were, uh, let's see, locked core clock of 1050, locked mem clock of 5001, and a memory offset of 1000 as well in that one. Uh, so that's what they were running at. So now we're gonna swap things over to uh, what's his face one zero minor and uh, we'll see how that goes so i'll be right back once that once i get that done Alrighty, we're back in my hive os these two rigs are updated um, i didn't move these over to mmpos yet but I pr i'm still thinking about doing it i haven't done it yet but um, i will probably eventually will do it uh, but right now um, they are both running on um, one zero minor 1.3.6 here are the 1660 TIs. Uh, previously, they were around 8-ish, eight 8.4, 8 8.5 8 kilohash. Now they're up to 9.6. Efficiency is knocking on the door of 200. We got one overachiever there, Silicon Lottery, I guess. Um, but watts are right around the same. It was around the high 40s, low 50s as far as that goes. So the efficiency is, is better um, overall around 187, 183. Low to mid-9s kilohash range per card. Um, so they are running better. Then the 3070 TIs are also up and running. Uh, they're up around 23.3 watts or a couple watts higher. Um, so we got mid 80s to low 90, um, with the, about another 10% improvement in um, hash rate. Core clock, 110, everything's overclocks are the same through both of them. Haven't messed around to see if different overclocks work better through different miners, which is a possibility. I haven't messed around with that. Um, I actually just got back from my first fantasy football draft of the, of the season so far. Um, it's a dynasty league, and actually we drafted two months later than we normally do. But uh, So I kind of just wanted to hop on and then shoot a video quick. So I just went through this. Just to give you a rough idea of what I'm running on this. And here is the, court, the clock settings on the 1660 Ti's. Both of them are running a thousand memory offset as well, as long with locked memory clocks. No core offset. Rigel Miner putting her one um, poster under GitHub that the uh, core offset doesn't seem to help, um, so I didn't use it. I haven't messed around trying it to see if it does anything. Uh, but let's get back over here into my um, MMPOS 3080s uh, currently running. Lot, same overclocks I had with the Rigel Miner 1410, locked memory clock of 5001, 1300 offset. Right around 130 to 138 as far as watts, 31-ish kilohash range, 31 and a half. Most of them are running, um, so they are running nice. Then 20 series rigs are still on Raven on Dynex, all that stuff. 
3070s. Currently running at 1110, locked at 5000. Thought it was 5001. I thought I changed this one, but maybe I didn't. Is this guy still on right? No, that's on Win Zero Minor. Okay. That should be a different symbol there. So, all right, let's reload this. Sorry for the flashbang. It's kind of weird that those overclocks are in there, but anyway, well, whatever. Let's go to 3060 TIs. Same thing. Yeah, the other one should have had a little bug flying by my face. Um, 1110 lock core, 5000 memory locked, 1000 memory offset. So I should have had the, this emblem on the other one because uh, this is also on 10 minor 1.3.6. And there you can see the hash rates 23 and a half. Software power is right around 80, 84 at the highest. So let's check out the other 3070. These are all Founders Edition cards. So they're at the same thing, 23 and a half for the most part. We've got 24 overachiever there, underachiever here, these two. And then watch are right around high 70s to low 80. Core locked at 1110, memory locked at 5000 with a 1000 offset. Then we have this other 3060 tie is the same, running about the same hash rate. This is the mixed 3070 rig. There are some founders in here, some Asus Tufts. And I don't think there's a Strix. I think these, they're all Asus, Asus Tufts, I believe. Maybe even a, a KO. But same thing, all around 23, 23 and a half watts. Pretty much the same. All the overclocks are the same, so they're all running good. And then the CMP cards, uh, these have gotten better. Uh, they're up around 34 and some change, almost 35. They are running a locked core of 990. Um, memory's locked at 810 with the 300 offset, so it's running at uh, 958. All right around 110 to 120 watts. Uh, so the efficiencies of these cards are getting up to close to 300. Um, 300 kilohash or 300 hash per watt, somewhere around there. So uh, the efficiency of these cards did, did increase uh, since I switched to one zero miner, so they do seem to be doing better. Now let's get to K1 pool. Let's see. Did my rewards increase, decrease? Um, this is still, calculator still all over the place. This previously, when I was in here before, showed 2.99. So that's all kinds of goofy. Um, and another thing I actually wanted to, to kick myself for not doing it because I believe it may have worked out better. Um, but before the fork, number of blocks found was under 120. I want to say 113, 117, 118, somewhere around there. Um, 113 is the number that's sticking in my head, but um, it was under 120, and then now it's 160 something. Not sure. There's no guarantee I would have hit all those blocks solely mining, but it probably would have been a pretty good idea to swap solo and do solo mining overnight. So when the fork happened, it would have had a, a much greater chance of smashing some blocks right away. And it's like 1.3, 1.4 zealous per block too late now but um wish i probably would have did it don't know if i would have hit the 30 or 40 50 blocks or whatever it was but that number jumped up substantially um since the fork since now that now since the fork happened and it's been running for a while I haven't hit a whole lot of blocks because i think this was 162 161 uh, the morning after um so it's only a handful of blocks since then but um you can see i've been averaging 1.6, 1.6 mega hash ish, somewhere in that range. And that might bump up a little bit just because I switched over to one zero mine. I got a little bit more hash rate out of the other guys. Rewards. Here you go. So, unlike Panda, my rewards have been going down because um, the fork happened right around here, 10th, 11th of July. Steadily going down. So, that's not good. But there is more machines, so there's more CPUs probably on here mining. I didn't really turn any of my 70, or 3900s or 5900s onto it. Uh, those are still mining random X to unminable, uh, getting paid out in Cardano. 
um, but I'm sure a lot of people did switch over their CPU rigs that are running on because I believe when you go on to going to flash bangies again here to zealous the amount of workers 5,500 miners I don't know what that number was previously I didn't have to look at a previous video but I did hear people talk about there are more oh and there's an API area here here too so yeah that's probably up more around eight or eight to nine thousand workers so uh, K1 pull might be having some issues here but it's, everything seems to be working yeah, getting it still getting accepted chairs and stuff so still getting jobs so that's still all working right maybe just an api error reporting to money pool dot money pool stats that stream so overall though i think it's still doing all right um, i have to really sit down and do the math see if it's actually still profitable and for me to mine it pretty sure on the 16 series cards it might not be but on uh, some other ways it might still be profitable so we'll see, but that's one thing that we'll have to, to, to sit down and figure out and to see if it's still worth doing. Just because, as you saw here, price keeps tanking, keeps going down. It's under twelve bucks. That might be a new low. I'm not hundred percent sure on that either, but um, it has definitely been going down steadily. And actually, last night we did have some pumps in crypto prices, so uh, a lot of people are just dumping it on the market. So it may not be worth it to continue to mine it. Uh, so I will have to reevaluate that. It's been a good run. I've been mining it for now about two months. Yeah, probably about two months. I think it was about May 14th, 15th is when I first switched over. So we had a good little run. All good things must come to an end. Uh, so I might have to look at some other things to mine. If nothing else is profitable, maybe turn some stuff off for the time being. And we'll go from there. But as of now, they are still on. So I just got to sit down and figure things out and see what we got going on, whether I'm going to keep stuff going or, or shut some rigs down. This because GPU mining is one foot in the grave and the other on a banana peel right now type deal. And it's not going the greatest. Uh, Zealous was good there for a while, but it, as we see, it's not the greatest anymore. So we will have to reevaluate and see where we stand. So, but I just want to give a quick update as far as um, what things happened, changed since since the fork happened, and how my rewards have been. And um, I did, it was just the other day that I switched over to one zero miner just for a little more efficiency, a little bit better efficiency, and a little bit better hash rate. So it's actually a win win in that scenario. So I'll have to sit down and go through card by card, and then see if what's still worth running and what is not, and what is going to be getting shut off. So. Till the next video, which will probably be Wednesday, uh, just because the way the work schedule is. And then uh, maybe by then I'll be able to sit down and figure out what cards I'm going to keep going. If I'm going to be switching anything around, we'll have a better idea. So, all right. Until then, catch you later. Have a good one.